Hi, I'm Beryl, and this is a pizza video in two parts. In part one, we are going to learn the story about a man who makes pizza on an active volcano. And in part two, we're gonna eat pizza and have a pizza party. So good. So let's start with part one and how we got to the volcano. So there I was, scrolling on Imgur, minding my own business when I came across this post about the guy who's making pizza on an active volcano. Huh, I said out loud. This seems like a good story. So I pulled up my phone, called my friend Luis, a videographer in Guatemala, and said, hey, do you think you can film this? He said yes. Hola. Mi nombre es Luis Sánchez Díaz, soy un productor audiovisual aquí en Guatemala que trabaja en Cónica Studio, un estudio de diseño gráfico y producciones audiovisuales. Guatemala es un país localizado en Centroamérica, justo en el sur de México. Somos un país bastante pequeño, pero tenemos una diversidad extremadamente grande. Estamos llenos de paisajes de cualquier tipo. Pero bueno, no estamos aquí para hablar un poco sobre las bellezas de los paisajes, sino hablar sobre la pizza. La pizza de David. Pues le ofrezco una experiencia inigualable. La persona que vive a todo restaurante, que va a una silla, a una mesa, se sienta, está cómoda. El sabor que tiene la pizza acá, a leña, a gas, que he hecho por pura piedra volcánica. Porque si no encontramos otra pizza igual. Mi nombre es Mario David García y pues mi ocupación es ser un cocinero extremo acá en el Pacaya. Pues fíjate que fue en el 2013 y que inició todo esto pues fue porque visitaba bastante el Pacaya y noté que los guías llevaban siempre grupos de turismo para darle una ruta o un tour por el complejo volcánico y vi que hacían marshmallows en cuevas pequeñas más adelante vi que habían cuevas más grandes de tanto meditar me traje una ocasión una pizza y pues eh, la hice en, el, en una de las cuevas el resultado fue que salió quemada pero lo poquito que logré rescatar de la pizza de la alta temperatura que había estaba muy rico entonces semanas después traje más pizza y pues intenté hacerlo otra vez fueron años para poder del 2013 al 2019 llevar esta técnica y llevarla a la perfección para poder ya lanzarlo a los turistas y presentárselo a ellos como una innovadora idea de hacer pizzas en cuevas volcánicas acá en el Pacaya Mira, tengo que andar constantemente buscando hornos, los hornos... He tenido hornos perfectos de que superan los mil grados. El mejor tiempo perfecto que he tenido para sacar una pizza ha sido 2 minutos 40 segundos. En el cual pues la ha salido con, una, con un eh, dorado abajo perfecto y un gratinado perfecto. Tengo guantes de hasta 600 grados de temperatura. Y cuando hay lava, pues eh, uso ropa adecuada, incluso hasta gorros y, y lentes para evitar quemaduras en el rostro y los ojos. Yo sé los riesgos que yo tengo al estar acá. Constantemente yo estoy viendo lo que los vulcanólogos están eh, subiendo a las páginas oficiales y pues tengo constante comunicación con los, los de la coordinadora de reducción de desastres para ver cómo va evolucionando el volcán. Aquí estamos en el Cerro Chino, estamos a una altura de 2.165 metros sobre el nivel del mar. Acá podemos tener las mejores vistas que podamos eh, tener en nuestras vidas. Eh, siempre dejo las masas que utilizo, por ejemplo, el día de hoy, las de, hice el día de ayer. Siempre dejo de 12 a 24 horas las masas reposando para que tengan una textura perfecta. Tengo pizzas de pepperoni, salami, chorizo extra, prosciutto... Entonces esa elección del cliente cómo quiera su pizza. De los tres años que llevo ya activo eh, haciendo pizza casi que día por día, solo una persona me ha pedido de piña y de ahí han sido de diferentes sabores. Pues fíjate que el convenir y estar en comunicación con diferentes personas de diferentes partes del mundo, etnias, culturas, pensamientos, ideologías, niveles económicos, eh, me hace ver que el lugar en el que estoy y la oportunidad que me brinda la naturaleza y de poder estar acá en el Pacaya horneando pizzas es algo único, pues me siento privilegiado de estar acá y me siento orgulloso de ser guatemalteco de haber nacido en este lindo país. I just thought that story was so incredible and too fun not to share. 
The thing is, I realize that not all of us are probably going to get to have volcano pizza, myself possibly included, but pizza is one of those rare universal foods that we all eat anyway. So I asked if you all wanted to join me for a pizza party. Final toppings and sauce and cheese. We are going to make some pizzas, eat some pizzas, and just, you know, live our best lives. Ethan, tu quieres más pizza? My name is James. I live in Redmond, Washington. Here we have the ingredients for the pizza sauce. Uh, I think the recipe only asks for one clove of garlic, but any recipe that asks for one clove of garlic is simply begging to have at least four. I absolutely love pizza. Pizza is one of those things that you can have anywhere and get a new experience somehow. It's kind of like an empty canvas for somebody to paint on. It's spectacular. My favorite pizza topping is a weird one. It's banana. You just kind of have to try to uh, to really appreciate it. It's it, it, You never really bring it up in polite company because everybody's like, well, does pineapple belong on pizza or not? And then you're like well, I'm over in the corner going, but what about banana? A quick peek inside here to see how the pizza's doing. Looking pretty good so far. I love to make pizza. And it's also one of the dishes that I make a lot for my friends when they come home. Even though it's so universal, it can be made our own by adding the toppings that we like. I love to add paneer because it reminds me of the pizza that I used to eat growing up in India. And I think that's why it makes it so special and it's such a go-to comfort food for many of us. For me, pizza is definitely a comfort food. Growing up, my parents would go out on date night every Saturday night and that's when they would let my siblings and me order in pizza. We would sit and gorge ourselves on pizza and watch TV and movies and just spend time together. So it's definitely a warm feeling for me when I think of that. Thank you. Honestly, I don't know anyone who doesn't love pizza. My toddler loves it. My grandpa loves it. There's just something about it. It's very like comforting and homey. I think it's pretty cool that pizza is such a universal dish. When I was a kid, my mum used pizza to get rid of any that we had. My favorite was nachos on pizza. I make that all the time now for my family. So this is our pizza combo. The nacho pizza in all its glory. I love, love, love pizza. It is my most favorite food. It is a comfort food for me. According to my mom, I've loved pizza since I was in the womb. Every time she'd eat a slice of pizza, I would be jumping around in her belly. So she believed that I loved it even since then. Pizza is really popular here in New York City and that makes me extremely happy. You can walk a few blocks and find another pizzeria. So as you walk along through the city, if you ever get really hungry, you just have to walk a few more blocks and you'll find another pizzeria and grab another slice there. I think there's something magical about tomatoes and cheese. And when you put it on top of bread, it just makes it even better. What I would put on a pizza is gonna to be totally different than what someone in China would put on a pizza or someone in Italy would put on a pizza. It's so unique to each one of us, but in its core, it's really all the same. It's just bread and cheese and tomato sauce. But it really does show the uniqueness of the person who's eating it. And I think that's a really cool thing. I am also part of this pizza party, and for the pizza that I'm going to make, I asked one of you to recommend a pizza that was new and different for me to try. So that's what we're gonna do. Hi, Beryl, my name is Emmy. I live in the Washington, D.C. region. I love pizza, and I would love to share with you clam pizza. Clam pizza is made with clams, pecorino romano, olive oil, oregano, garlic, and if you'd like, red pepper flakes. Clam pizza has a richness from the olive oil and pecorino romano, but also a lightness from the clams and oregano. So all together, it's got a wonderful balance and great flavor. Clam pizza is a New Haven, Connecticut pizza scene classic. I'm from Connecticut and remember as a kid in the summertime making this pizza with my family. 
the kids would all sit together shucking clams or just playing with the dough. My grandfather would be spinning the dough in the kitchen and it was a wonderful chance for us to come together as a family and eat something delicious. I get so excited whenever I have the chance to eat this. It makes me think of family and home. When I was making this video, I reached out to Uni and they were interested in working with me on the video. So this is my Uni wood fire pizza oven. And while I'm not using residual heat from an active volcano, I am able to have wood fire pizza at home. And surprisingly, this oven was so easy to put together. I was ready for like a whole uphill battle, but it was really simple. And the temperatures in this get up to 950 degrees Fahrenheit, which is honestly kind of similar to the volcano, kind of. And so the pizza can cook in 60 seconds, AKA as long as it is taking me to tell you about the oven. <laughs> Truly though, the fact that this pizza came out of this backyard area in my New York City apartment is shocking and incredible. And now we're gonna eat it. Clam pizza is actually something that I have heard of because I also grew up in and near Connecticut but I've actually never been to that spot that sells it. And you know, clam pizza is not something on my own that I was like, oh, you know what I would love to do? I would love to put clams on my pizza. So this is something new and different for me. Wow, the clams have like a nice little saltiness. Never in a million years would I have thought to make this on my own. I also think this might be the first time I've ever bought canned clams which is kind of cool, you know, to buy something new. Ooh, man, I put a lot of chili flakes on this. <coughs> I am enjoying my pizza, and I think it's about time that everybody else enjoys their pizza. So the pizzas have come. Well, this was my first time trying a cast iron style of pizza. Uh, this looks like it uh, is indeed pizza. I am very thrilled to try this. That's what it looks like out of the oven. Oh, yeah. This is how the butter chicken pizza looks like. Nothing fancy, but tastes so delicious. Hope you're all enjoying your pizza too. Ooh. All right, here we go. Looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. Okay. So good. I so enjoy doing videos where we can all do something together. It just feels like the community is a just happy, fun, sharing place. <laughs> if, by the way, you're interested in more pizza content, I have linked the videos for you to watch. Or if you wanna watch more community style videos, I have that one linked for you as well. I hope you liked this video, learned something new. Maybe you wanna to go to Guatemala and have volcano pizza. I know I do. I will see you all in my next video. Cheers. <laughs>